Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video series I will show you how I made this terrestrial globe 3D model. The video series is of three parts, modeling, UV unwrapping, and texturing. In this first part of the video series we will see how to make the model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. I have imported a reference image from the front view. And I will turn off the image plane in my perspective view. Now go to the front view and create a sphere. Move it up to match the position of the reference image and scale it up. Click on this button to turn on the X-ray mode so that it can be clearly visible. Now adjust the position and then scale it up to match the reference image. Now from the channel box, click on the polysphere one. From here, you can set the subdivision axis and height of the sphere. By default these are set to 20, I will make them 40, so that the sphere becomes much smooth in shape. Now I will slightly rotate it in Z axis, somewhere to minus 5. Now let's create the part that looks like metal ring. For this, create a pipe from here. Move it up and rotate it 90 degrees in the x-axis. Click on the poly pipe one, and I will give 40 to subdivision axis. Now, scale this up, and adjust the thickness according to the reference image. This will not match exactly with the reference image, because the image is not perfectly in front orthographic view. So I try to keep the proportion as close as possible to the reference. For the thickness adjustments to do it more precisely and smoothly, you can select the thickness channel and then pressing Ctrl key, drag with holding middle mouse button. Now then, go to the perspective view and then scale it down from the Z axis. Something like this should be good. Now, I will create a new pipe, then scale it up. Go to the top view. I will give 40 subdivisions to this pipe also, and then adjust the thickness. Now I will reduce the height by scaling down in the y-axis. I will try to match the height according to the reference image. Now I will adjust its thickness so that it is slightly bigger than the sphere. Something like this. Now then, let's position them correctly. For this, I will make the rotation of the sphere to its default value. Go to front view, select the ring, and activate the Y translation. Then by pressing V key, click middle mouse button on the center edge of the sphere, it will snap the ring object to the center of the sphere. Similarly, snap this object also to the center of the sphere. Now then, create a cylinder, and adjust the position and scale of it, according to this part of the image. Then go to face mode, drag and select these faces, press Ctrl key, drag and deselect the bottom faces. Then hold shift, right click and select extrude faces. Then scale it up from the middle. Then press G key and move it up. Again press G key and scale it down from the middle. Extrude the faces again, and move it up. Select these faces, and scale it down from the middle. Then snap these vertices accordingly. Go to face mode, select these bottom faces, deselect the top ones, and delete them. Select these vertices, and move them up somewhere to the middle. Go to object mode, press D and V key and middle mouse click on this edge, to snap the pivot to that edge. Go to modify and select freeze transformation. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate the object, and type minus 1 in scale Y. Select both the objects, hold shift right click and select combine. 
Then select all these vertices, hold shift right click and select merge vertices, again merge vertices. Then select this edge and delete it. I will now try to match the shape of the reference image. Now, select the bottom faces and extrude them. Then scale it down from the middle. Again extrude it and move it down. Now, scale it down from the middle, roughly matching with the reference. Then snap the edges in the original positions. Now then, create edge loops wherever needed, and scale them from the middle, to make the smooth round shape. Now, for the stands, let's create a cylinder. But first, select all these objects and create a layer, name it as per your choice, and turn off the visibility of the layer. Move and scale the cylinder to the bottom of the stand. Then select the top faces, and extrude them, then move it up. Now create an edge here using multi-cut tool, and then scale it up from the middle. Now then, create edges wherever needed, and then scale them from the middle, according to the shape of the reference image. Now, repeat the process of extruding the top faces, creating the edges wherever needed, and scaling them according to the shape of the reference image. If you are liking this video, share it with your friends too, give a like to this video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now then, give supporting edges wherever needed, by selecting the edge loop, and applying bevel on it. I will now select the top faces, deselect the bottom faces by holding control key, and delete them. Now then, I will give supporting edges for each parts of the model, by applying bevel on the edges. Now for this part, I need to cut, from where the ring is passing through. Go to edge mode, select this edge, and create an edge from the middle. Now scale it down from the center, and bring it closure to the ring. Now go to face mode, select these faces and delete them. Delete these inner faces as well. Select these top faces, hold shift, right click and choose extract faces, so that, these two become separate objects. Now then, go to edge mode and select this edge, hold shift and select this edge, and apply bevel to both of them. Adjust the value of fraction, and then delete the faces. Go to edge mode, select this edge, and create an edge loop from the middle. Create another edge loop here as well. Now select these two edges and delete them. Select multi-cut tool and join these two vertices. Go to vertex mode and adjust the vertex a little.
Now then, select the multi-cut tool and adjust the proper edge flow for this part. Now, give the supporting edges with the help of multi-cut tool. Press 3 for smooth surface. It is looking good. Now then, from top view, go to face mode, select all these faces and delete them. Select this part, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and then set a value of minus 1 in scale X. Now select both of them, hold shift, right click and combine them. Then go to vertex mode, select these vertices and merge them. Select this part, extrude it, and snap it here. Select the move tool, activate Y axis, and by holding V key, press middle mouse button to snap here. Now go to face mode, select all these faces, hold shift, right click, choose face normals, then reverse normals. Now then, select this part, isolate it, go to edge mode, and select all the inner edge loops. And then bevel them, to give them supporting edges. Adjust the fraction level, as per your choice. Now select these outer edges and apply bevel on them, to give supporting edges. Now, for these small supporting stands, I will duplicate this part, and scale it down from the middle. Rotate it to 90 degree in Z axis. Then move it down and place it in the correct position. Since this small part is a duplicate of the big one, I will now adjust the shape of this object, so that the two objects does not look similar to each other. Now select this part, press V and D key together, then activate X axis, then click the middle mouse button on the middle vertex, to set the pivot here. Then go to modify, and choose freeze transformations. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, and set negative 1 to scale X axis.
Again duplicate this part, then rotate it 90 degrees in Y axis. Similarly, select this part, set the pivot in the middle, and then duplicate it. I will now adjust some of the positions. Now, select the sphere, then rotate it to negative 5 and Z axis. Go to Vertex Mode, select the center vertex, and press Ctrl and F11 on your keyboard to select all the top faces. Then press Shift and Greater Than key to increase the selection. Then hold Shift right click, and choose Duplicate Face. Then go to Object Mode, and then select the mesh, and extrude it. Press Ctrl and deselect the outer faces, and then extrude again. Again extrude the faces and adjust the offset it to the middle, somewhere like this. Again extrude the faces, and move it up. Now, isolate this object, then select the bottom faces, and then delete them. Now select the outer edge loops, and apply bevel on them, to give supporting edges. Now then, for this top part, I will make it little smaller by adjusting the edges and vertices. Now select this part, go to face mode, select these face loop, deselect the top faces. Then duplicate the faces, and then adjust the shape of the object, to make it a holder kind of shape. Now extrude the object, and adjust the thickness. Now apply bevel to all the corner edges, to give supporting edges. The modeling part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the UV unwrapping of the model. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.